boom every now and then there's a message that's transformational here's one for you here are the five rules uh the five pillars of success so pillar number one is as much education as you can possibly handle this will transform your life it'll change everything because it's what you don't know that you don't know that's killing you, but you think you know. Wisdom is so important. Knowledge is, is a game changer. It's time to make smart sexy in your life, <laughs> okay? It takes 20 years to change a culture, Quincy Jones says. I'll give you two Quincy Jones quotes. Uh, it takes 20 years to change a culture. In the last 20 years, we've made dumb sexy, I've said. We've dumbed down and celebrated it. And now we've got to make smart sexy again. I asked Quincy Jones, how'd you get so smart? He said, John, I'm just nosy as hell. I want to know everything about everything. That's what I want for you. I want you to know everything about everything. I've got a bookcase in my house. I've got an iPad filled with books because I just obsess with learning and knowledge. Remember, it's what you don't know that you don't know that's killing you, but you think you know. The great leveler is education. Once you have it, no one can take it from you. Number two. Second pillar is you've got to understand the math. If your day's not about God or love, your day's about money. But do you really understand money or do you just understand how to spend it, okay? There's a, di there's a difference between, between making money and building wealth. You can make money and still be broke. You can have wealth and, and really not have a lot of accumulated money, but you're wealthy because, because of the mindset, because you're, you're comfortable in your own skin, because you're a giver not a taker and that kind of person's always going to be successful uh, so you got to understand the numbers you got to understand if your day is not about God or love your day is about money and nothing changes your life more than God or love than moving your credit score 120 points okay uh, it, it, economics is all around you I mean I can't get in this car without dealing with economics he paid the some, the driver paid the car note he has insurance um, the, the this phone it wasn't government issued uh, it was paid for uh, you slept last night. There were there were covers. You paid for them. Uh, you paid for the utilities in the place that you slept sleep in. You slept in rent or a mortgage on the in, uh, with the roof over your head. Money is everywhere. But do we understand money? You have to understand the numbers, economics, and ownership, entrepreneurship. Uh, don't just go get a job. Figure out how to create one. Number three. This is, I'm trying to set you free now. This is this is my prescription for your economic freedom. Number three, a strong family structure. Really important. Uh, it, guys, uh, <laughs> you wanna have a good relationship with a woman? Have a good relationship with your mother. Women, you wanna have a good relationship with men? Have a good relationship with your dad. My wife said her first love affair was with her father. So important. My mother told me she loved me every day of my life. Nothing's more powerful than a child being told that they are loved. A strong family structure because your family won't throw you away and your family doesn't see you as a transaction they will they will it's it they will ride or die with you forever strong family structure number four pillar of success self-esteem and confidence it's okay if, if you don't like me I like me I'd rather you respect me and learn to like me than like me and never respect me uh, self-esteem is how you feel about yourself confidence is how you apply yourself out into the world you get confidence through competence if you're competent in driving like my man Nadim is then you have confidence to, to navigate these crazy streets in New York and uh, that we're on if you have confidence uh, as an engineer uh, a competence as an engineer then it gives you confidence uh, to, to state your claim about your engineering prowess on the job Think about it. If you have competence in something, it gives you confidence. Think about a professional athlete. They're confident because they have competence. And the more competent you are, typically the more confident you become. Can you have high confidence and low self-esteem? Absolutely, yes. You need both. It's okay. You know, again, if I don't like me, I'm not going to like you. If I don't feel good about me, I'm not going to feel good about you. Love and charity starts inside. The flight attendant will tell you. When the plane is going down, put the oxygen mask on your face first and then your child. Because if you can't save you, you can't save them. Last one, role modeling. Role modeling is so important because you model what you see. You model what you see. Why are kids in the inner city want to be rap stars, athletes, and drug dealers? Nothing wrong with a rap star. Fantastic career if you can get it. But it's not scalable. My friend T.I. is not scalable. Um, 
Jay-Z is not scalable, right? Beyonce is not scalable. Uh, LeBron, great ath athletes, fantastic. LeBron, uh, Steph Curry, all these guys, Magic Johnson, not scalable. They're personalities. Drug dealers shouldn't want to be one of those in the first place, but it's not scalable. Will we mock why these kids want to be that? Because because that's what they see, this aspirational in their neighborhood. They're not dumb and they're not stupid. They're modeling what they, hello, see. We model what we see. And converse is also true. If you hang around nine broke people, you'll be the 10th. So here's the five pillars of success, all right? So watch how you live your life. It may be the only Bible anybody else reads. Here's the five pillars. Uh, pillar number one. Uh, as much education as you can possibly consume. Pillar number two, nobody wants to hang around, hang around a, stupid, a stupid and dumb person. Two, um, uh, you've got to understand the math, the numbers. Number three, uh, uh, it, try to, to, to uh, nurture a strong family. And if you don't have your own family, create a village as a family, people around you, assemble, go around through life collecting your people. Four, high self-esteem and high confidence. This is half the ball game. Uh, five, role modeling. By the way, if you have three of those five things, you're gonna win, right? If you are lacking five of those five things, you're probably gonna lose. No matter how good of a nice person you are, if you don't understand how America and the world works, you will lose. You won't win because it, you don't, you don't, you never got the memo, right? So oppress people. My Jewish brothers and sisters were oppressed. Hitler tried to exterminate a third, did exterminate a third of them. Why do they win anyway? Think about it. A lot of education, before and after the Holocaust. Uh, they understand the numbers and have applied it to every uh, 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 pathway of success that they've, that they've uh, uh, chosen to pursue. Uh, three, strong family structure. Four, uh, high self-esteem and confidence that comes from those four, the, 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 the previous three items I just mentioned. Five, good role modeling. It's just that simple. Why are my African American brothers struggling? No matter how brilliant they are, there's uh, well, education was denied from them in slavery. Um, two, um, they, they were not taught the number. The Freedom's the Freedom's Bank was destroyed after Lincoln was killed. They were taught about how money works, economics. Three, the family structure was destroyed. Four, um, self-esteem and confidence is lacking because, at least self-esteem, because of the last three things. Five, we model what we see and we don't have enough business owners, entrepreneurs, small business owners, success stories, doctors, lawyers, engineers, just traditional scalable models that we can go be what we see. So we pursue a narrow band of success that's primarily around entertainment, sports, and the arts because the playing field is level, rules are published, and that's what we know what we can do. But we're, all you need to do is upgrade our software and we will kill it in other areas too, and so will you. This is a, a lesson on the five pillars from John Hope Bryant. Go share it, uh, live it, and um, well, become the change you wanna see in the world. Let me know what you think. Let me know what other topic you want me to talk about. Let's go get it.